So you want to up your diamond game? You want to catch more diamonds? Well, we've got the tactic for you, and today I'm putting it to the test. All right. What's going on, my friends? It is the beard here, but today we are back once again in the Hunter Call of the Wild. That's right, my friends. We are here on Leighton Lakes in the glorious evergreen. Ha <laughs> ha. Man, am I excited about today. Today, we're going to put the new tactics to the test. I'm going to be jumping all over the map to my favorite stomping grounds, my Leighton Lake hotspots, if you will. And if you want to see more about the Leighton Lake hotspots, I will do so in a future video. Just let me know in the comment section down below. But today, we are going to try out the tactic you have all been hearing about so much. So before we get started, let me just go over what exactly this tactic is as we move towards our first hunting grounds down at Colbert Canyon. First off, you need to come into your skills section. Go to the stalker. Now, make sure that you have three in track knowledge. Imperative, three in track knowledge. Then head over to ambusher and only put one in spotting knowledge. That's correct. You only want one so that it does not waste a whole bunch of space and display the trophy and all other kinds of things. This is imperative for this to work. Now, if you have already set all your skills, do not fret. You can simply hit the reset. It will ask you to spend X amount of money. Go ahead and do it. I'm not going to as I already did. Now, you're going to want a more explanation a more detailed explanation and I highly recommend that you go and show Mr. Zaggy DK some love watch his video where he literally spends the majority of the video explaining and showing off how to do this that's as much of an explanation as you were getting from me here today I would highly appreciate it if you would go and check that out out and uh, I tip my hat to you Mr. Zaggy a fantastic job my man fantastic we're gonna put it to the test here guys um, before we do big shout out as well to my man Flinter the Hunter everything you've been doing and of course to all of our Patreons on the channel and all of our subscribers we are just a flying so without any further ado let's get to this guys right into the hunt <laughs> what do we got here what do we got okay so we have a level six hard coyote coming in he's coming right to me we're gonna get the 357 ready for this guy we'll zero at 25 see how we did he should be down here in just a moment uh, we should have a high 80s quick kill bonus not too bad to start off the hunt now it is only a six I'm certain my consecutive harvest has fallen off as is normally the way when you start a new game these days. Uh, so I'm really not concerned about that. We're just going to pick him up and see how we would have scored. Oh my goodness, it's still here. That's fantastic. So uh, we actually got 91% on the quick kill bonus with a trophy rating of 50. That gave us 808. It's our first goal of the hunt. Fantastic. Great way to start off. All right, I had some moose calling out my name. We all know I love the moose. What do we got? We have a two minor. This one looks a little bigger. A three very easy and a female. Okay, so we're going to take this guy with the bow. I've got my 600 green arrows ready to fly. Oh, that's no good. Oh, hey, wrong button. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, we want to stay like or just turn. Don't cooperate. Hold still, big guy. Oh, ho, ho, took him in the spine. And nah, no point. Not going to risk it. We know the Consec is up. We are good. Uh, we're just going to run over and pick this guy up real here and see how we scored. I mean, a level three you know, you know, could be gold. Not really with that, that palmate. Uh, it's a silver. 137 trophy rating and a 781 score. But yeah, right, right in the... Uh, yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> Let's go. I've come across... A level four elk. So we got a bunch of other ones coming in. I don't see anything worthwhile. There was maybe a rare or something in the group, but I think we're just gonna go ahead and drop this big guy. Just like that. Look at them all go. What else do we got? We got another four easy. Oh, has he got a rack on him? Well, we might have to go and track him down too and see where he's going. Oh, how you doing, buddy? All right, we'll pick this up and see how we did. Let's take a look. Ooh, 
<laughs> Elk are so impressive, and especially so in this game. Fantastic. It's our second kill. Sorry, it's our third kill. Our second gold. 302 trophy rating. Gave us a big old score, 874. Very nice. Couldn't help it. Okay, so once again, I've come across these elk that we decided to say hello to not too long ago. Uh, and I, I just, I can't resist, my friends. I just can't. We're going to use the 7 mil. And we'll see about... Uh, kind of an awkward angle here. Uh, but the awkward angle worked, and we dropped it. Okay, so here we are. Let's take a good look at you. Another four. Just look at that. Oh, man. How'd we do? It is another goal. A 271 trophy rating had a good weight on it for uh, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. 835. That is lovely. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got this little buck moving in on us now. He's just a little guff. He's going to come right to us. So we'll get ready to take him with the bow. Zeroed for 20. And he is down. All right, this little guff right here. We'll pick him up. He's a silver. Oh, 72 trophy rating. It's almost not even worth the arrow I put into him. <laughs> okay, so we've got some elk moving in on us here. Now, there is a little moose there. Uh, it's a little moose, so we're not going to worry about that. Mind you, the elk, they don't look too big. Threes, threes, a couple threes by the looks of it. The back tines, you can... Yeah, there's a three and a three. Okay, so either one, really. Uh, they both seem to have roughly the same size racks on them. Yeah, that moose is no good. There was something behind that bush over there, but we're going to leave it. I'll go check the tracks after this, as I have been following all the tracks. Okay, so they're going to split. We should have a shot on this back guy here. If all goes well. Zero for 40. Oh, oh. oh I think I got a lung. I don't know. We get one more into him. Yeah, yeah, well, it is what it is. We'll go and pick this guy up. Uh, yeah, what do you do? All right, so he went far enough. We're not going to have a whole lot of quick kill bonus here, but we'll uh, pick him up, see how we did. Yeah, you can see where we ended up hitting him. So we did get, uh, well, we got the liver, stomach, and intestines. A 57% quick kill gives a 206 and a 683 score. Carrying onward. Okay, I think I've spotted our next victims of our little hunting tirade here. What do we got? Uh, some cows and a male. We'll go ahead and drop this guy going for the spine. There we go. We were 0 to 150. It took him on the spot, so that worked out kind of nice. <laughs> Literally just walked out, and there he was. So didn't even have a chance to spot this guy. Looks like a 3... He has a 3, 119 with a score 743. Well, we'll take the silver and move on. Okay, jumped areas once again. We are over by Balmont Railroad now, and I have spotted a three very easy black tail. So we're going to go ahead and line up this guy. Uh, played around my loadouts this episode as well, guys. I am now with the 243, my 338, and of course, my bow. So let's see what we can do with this. Okay, he's coming right out, about 100 meters out. Not too bad. We'll uh, see if we can get him to come a little closer. Get him closer to our zeroing of 75. And then we'll take him with the 243. Nothing else in the back there. Very uh, popular area over here for deer. I have a lot of luck here. You can see the does in the background. Okay, so he's at uh, just under 90 meters. By the time he stops, it'll be closer to 80, somewhere around there. Let's see what we can do with this. Go for the spine. Ooh. Very nice. Okay. Oh, hey. You almost glitched that one. Okay, so we're looking good. We're going to let that dough go. I didn't see anything else running. So we'll run over here and pick this up. We'll see how we do here. Not very big. It's not going to be a gold. No, not with that rack. Let's take a look. 
Okay, it is a silver with a 101 trophy rating, 742 score. Well, we'll take it, we'll take it, and we'll keep on motoring. Okay, as you can see, I dropped a doe just in front of me with the bow, trying to bring in this guy. Right there, yes sir. Just another three very easy black tail, but uh, hey, <laughs> it's a buck, it's gotta drop. Let's pick this guy up, or this girl rather, yeah, is what it is there. We'll go ahead and see how we did here. Very similar to the last one. Uh, but we got a gold off this one, 136 trophy rating with an 824 score. Been a fantastic hunt for gold so far today. Right on. Let's get moving. Oh, the 243. Fun little gun. Okay, we're in for a treat. Let me just uh, check my consec one more time here. And we'll put that down like that. Okay, my friends. <laughs> Um, so the, you know, the whole purpose of this video, as I explained earlier for myself was to further test the tactics that we have been speaking of, put a few calls out here. You might know what I'm getting at right now. Uh, we're going to confirm here in just a second. I will show you, but let me go pick this up. As I said, I want to make sure that my consec is up. It is up. Okay. Took it in the spine. Good enough. Carry on now. Ha. Throughout this entire hunt, I have been watching tracks. I've been employing the tactics because you gotta. <laughs> oh, you just gotta. And I came across... Oh, this is disturbed vegetation. Hold on. We'll cool over here. Oh, I got a doe here. I really don't care about the toe right now. We know where consecs up. Uh, check this out, guys. Take a gander at what we have here. Ooh, that's right, a 603. That, my friends, is a diamond. That's right, a diamond. And here he is. Oh, the size of that palmate. We're gonna get a little closer. Ah, we gotta get him out of those trees a bit. We don't wanna be smacking him around in there. Patience is key. When you get to this point of your diamond hunt, you can't rush it. Okay, we're going to get into a better position. Uh, there's a tree up here we're going to move towards. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. we're going to head to this guy right up here. We're going to try and uh, shimmy and shake and slide our way up there. Oh, man, the old bearded heart is going right now. Let me tell you, Zags, if you're watching, buddy. Oh, if you're watching, here it is for the masses. The Zag Tactics in full effect. If you guys had any doubt, let me lay those doubts to rest. I have found a, a max. God, diamond potential. I can't even talk. The heart rate is going right now. Now, we don't know for sure if it is a diamond. Uh, we do have it by the weight. And in theory, that means it should be, but you know, you just, you never know. You never know. So you got to wait. Okay. He's right. He's right here. Oh, he's 34 meters out. Are you kidding me? Oh, heart shot, baby. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God, what are you doing to me? God, you're putting some grays in the old beard right there. Oh, here we go. Round two, round two. Oh, we knocked him over sideways. We pulled that trigger with two hands, baby. Okay, okay. The moment of truth. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, man. Let's see. Let's take a look. Look at the size of that palmate. Oh, you know I got a thing for moose. Could this be my third moose diamond? You're all going to be calling me the Moose Whisperer. And we know what the cows like to do to me. This thing is gorgeous. Look at the size of the tines off this palmate. Look at that. Look at the dish. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, I'm just going to snap picks. Uh, uh, no, let's do it, man. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. It's a diamond, baby. Yes, sir. Oh, does that feel good right there? Oh, wow. Uh, 603 weight with a 233 trophy rating. Give us a score, 975. Yes, sir. 
Diamond number three, the third moose. I am the moose whisperer. But you can see we shot this thing straight through the heart. I mean, less than 40 meters. We better hit that heart. Oh, that's fantastic. You will notice 603 on the weight is exactly what we had listed when we checked that track earlier, if you will recall. Oh, that is just amazing. Who does it feel good? There you go, my friends. You have it here as confirmation that the Zag Tactics do indeed work. We have proven the weight. We have proven the score. And now the tactics... Oh, say no more, baby. Say no more. There it is, my friends. I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed this, as I know that I most certainly have. I want to thank you for joining me here on this most epic of hunts. I also would like to reach out to Zaggy and all those involved in pushing this new tactic and bringing it out to the masses. Uh, it is just fantastic. If you guys have enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button. Do it with two heads if you gotta. Don't forget if you're new here to hit that little subscribe, tag the bell next to it, and make sure guys to follow me on Twitch as I will be streaming on Twitch on a regular basis very soon. As soon as I get some of you guys over there so I got someone to go hang out with. Other than that, I will see you in Discord. I catch you guys in the next one. And we're just gonna end this right here. Pretty fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just going to take my screenshots for King of the Kill. Cause, huh. Yeah, I'm not going to enter. But I might. I might just throw it up there just for uh, good old giggle's sake. All right, guys. Peace.